Next into the tank is a company that strives to make all your videos look professional. Hi Sharks, my name is Jeff Overall from Newport Beach, California, serial entrepreneur and founder of Polar Pro. Today, I am seeking a $500,000 investment for 10% of my oh. company. Yo, dude! Dude! <laughs> At Polar Pro, we design innovative camera accessories that make it easier than ever for people with mobile phones, action cameras, or even drones to document their adventures. Out of our extensive product line, our three most popular items are, one, the Power Pole, the world's first battery integrated selfie stick allowing users to charge their camera all day and capture sick angles of themselves. You! <laughs> Two, the Power Vault, another first of its kind, the only action camera case with a built in battery dock allowing you to charge multiple batteries or USB devices no matter how far off the grid your adventure takes you. Nice. Three, our new filter sets for drones allow pilots to capture the most vibrant cinematic videos possible and also protect the lens for when you fly your drone into your neighbor's tree. Now, all of our products are designed by our passion for adventure and filming. And with an investment and guidance from one of you sharks, we'll be able to harness the huge amount of demand for our products and help users everywhere capture the most epic content possible. So who's ready to <laughs> wax up their board and ride this tasty wave with me? <laughs> Are these units currently out on the market? Yes, so we have 31 SKUs live on the market 31 right SKUs. now. Jeff, do you make them? Are you manufacturing these? We, we design, these? we manufacture, we assemble, we market, What's we What's your biggest everything. selling item? Right now, our camera filters for the drones have been outselling. Really? Yeah, because there's nobody else the really thing. out there with that on right. for drones yet. What exactly. does that sell for? The three pack is $69.99. We also have a six pack that is $149.99. What does it cost you to make that landed? Landed, it's $12. Our margins right now is 75% to 300%. Wow. I do know the drones are big. What does the, the filter do? So we've got a polarizer filter as well as neutral density filters. So we've got a pretty sick comparison video up here. Dynasty, your jam, bro. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Is that the, di the difference we're looking? The yeah, right has a filter, filter on. Not filter. That is correct. It's beautiful. That is amazing. Cool. Jeff, what are your total sales? In 2011, the first year we were in business, we did $8,000. Gnarly, dude. <laughs> <laughs> Last year, we did $2.8 million, and wow. this year, we're on track to do about 5.6. Wow. Yeah. Now, now that's impressive. amazing. Those are huge numbers. Tell us why you ramped up like that. What we do with those profits is we reinvest in R&D and making other accessories that other people aren't doing. I mean, we're young, we're innovative. By the time somebody comes in and copies one of our products, we've taken profits, made three other ones. And You're always ahead of the going. trend. Exactly. And, and Jeff, are you a designer? Design. What's your background? So I'm an entrepreneur at heart. Um, when I was 15 years old, I started my first company, We Got Crabs. Um, I, was, <laughs> I was in a, a fish store and I saw that they were selling hermit crabs for $4 each. And I was like, these crabs are down at the beach. Like there's thousands of them. So I went down to the beach with my bucket, threw, threw a bunch of crabs in the bucket, and started <laughs> selling them online. And, but uh, when was that? How long ago was that? That was 15. So I'm 26 now, so I was about 11 years old. OK, all right. Oh, okay. So how did you start this business? <laughs> yeah, so the, it, this business was started when I was at UC Santa Barbara. I was on the uh, ski team. And we were filming a ton on the snow with these cameras. And I was like, why don't my videos look like all these production ski movies? So I went online, did a little bit of research, and saw that all these guys' production are using polarizer filters. So I was like, oh, that's cool. So I was like, all right, I'll just buy a DSLR one, bought it, duct taped it onto the camera, 
went out there and was like, oh my God, like <laughs> this makes a huge difference. And was like, hey, I bet people would pay for these. Wow. So I went home, learned how to build a website, built it, learned how to do some SEO, optimized it, and, and here you started are. Boom. How much of your own money is in here, or are there investors? I used $2,000 of my student loan money, so Got instead it. of buying textbooks and food, pretty much, I used it to start the company. That's Could exactly what I did when I was in <laughs> school. Good for you. Do you have debt? No, we don't so have what's Holy the profit God. on the 5.6 million? So profit this year will probably end up at about 300,000. <sighs> but you gotta keep in mind, I'm not trying to skim profit off the table. I'm reinvesting in R&D right now, trying wait, wait, to take okay, this so here's thing as big as where possible. Doesn't, it doesn't add up. Yeah, because you've got all this margin. You should be making a million dollars plus. Right. How much do you spend on R&D? Over a million dollars. Wow. Oh, what so does that mean? Wow. That's literally tooling and product design. Because so accessories I, I look at it this way. Changing. There's no difference between what you're doing and what's occurring in, let's say, the accessories market around smartphones, right. yeah. Apple, Android. And so the guys that are winning that have huge scale. They have a constant flow of new offerings, go into the retail stores, and over time their margins have decreased because there's tons of competition. I think the same thing's gonna happen to you. There's nothing wrong with running with the wolves. I mean, that's what you're doing. But you gotta get a lot bigger, a lot faster. Exactly, and that's why I'm here today. Yeah, so but I, I don't know. Consumer up. electronics is a tough space because margins always get crushed. I'm looking at it that way. Nothing proprietary, nothing wrong with you as an entrepreneur. We actually have eight patents covering our most popular item. Does it what mean poo poo in this space? Because you can innovate around it and get the next one out the door. That, that's my opinion. I'm just a shark trying to make a buck. <laughs> I'm out. Thank you, Kevin. How big do you think you can be? Where do you want to get to? Right, so we, we've been trying to talk to the big box stores, so we're in 1,200 locations right now. It's all independent surf shops, smaller really? town guys. How big do you think you can be with the um, drone market? That blew our minds with how many people are buying drones now and how many people are buying our filters. We're the biggest third-party aftermarket drone company right now. Where do you see it two, three years from now? Two, three years, if we get Best Buy and hit it like REI yeah, Sports yeah. Authority, we can easily be at 40, 50 million. I, I see the big opportunity is the drone market. Mm -hmm. Like you said, your pedal's to the metal. You already know what you're doing here, right? I'm gonna make you the right offer because I don't want to waste a lot of time going back and forth with these other sharks. So here's my offer. One shark is out, but Mark is interested in Jeff's camera accessory company, Polar Pro. I'm gonna make you the right offer because I don't want to waste a lot of time going back and forth with these other sharks. So here's my offer. I'll give you the 500K, but do 10% if you're ready to say go. Wow, that's exactly what he's looking for. Now, one of my favorite business teachers at UCSB said, never do a deal that you don't hear out everybody else. So. Fair Mark, enough. I've Fair enough. And you're thinking, that. sharks okay, are you know, hungry. We're not, we're not gonna play games. Here, here's the deal, Mark. Why don't we go up to 15%, uh, percent. I'll come in, I'll do all uh, the licensing, and then we do it together, 15%. No, I'm good with where I'm at. Okay. So, <laughs> what is your offer, Damon? My offer is the $500,000 for 15%, and I bring all product delivery and licensing Jeff, strategic partnerships to you. congratulations, you have two offers. Shark, you have fight. something to say? Shark, I don't know, fight. I kind of like this. Shark, fight, shark, fight. I mean, this is interesting. I just like skin in the game. And accessories are hard to get into all the stores strategically. You have to have a strategic partner to get them in and to have a good position where people notice them. So I'm willing to offer you the $500,000 also at 10%. Thank you, Lori. You're welcome. Robert, what are you doing? I love fast growth. I, I love this too. stuff. I mean, I think you're killing it. Uh, I love how you started the company. Well, are you speed dating or giving them an offer? I think you need more money than 500,000. I'll go along with Lori or Mark and offer 500,000 for another 10%. I'll do 1 million for 17 and a half percent. Ooh, the bidding heats up. Mark, are you in on that deal with Robert? 
I'd rather do it myself, but if that's what it takes, yeah, the two of us, uh, 500K each for 10% yeah, each, I'll it. do it. Let's do it. All right. <laughs> All right, this is how we shake hands at Polar Pros. Do a hang loose. Yeah. 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 You did the wrong deal. <laughs> Thanks, guys. Congratulations, Jeffo. This guy's gonna kill it. I think you suck. <laughs>